A class of 40 students whose average weight is 40 kilograms. M students join this class whose average weight is n kilograms. We know for them that m plus n equal to 50. Students come in bringing in some kilograms each with them on an average. What are the maximum possible average weight of the class now? New group is coming in. Very simple idea, but a very powerful idea. If existing average is 40, new students coming in, their average is more than 40, overall average will increase. If their average is less than 40, overall average will decrease. The starting step for this question, we want the maximum possible average weight of the entire class or we are better off if overall average increases or this whole idea, the average would increase if n were greater than 40. If n were greater than 40, m should be less than 10. Each student on an average should give, bring in more than 40 kilograms or the total number of students should be less than 10. M plus n is 50. If this is more than 40, that has to be less than 10. Or m could be 1, m could be 2, 3 and so on. Correspondingly, n would be 49, 48 and so on. Think about this. Higher the average of the group coming in, the more the impact will be on an average basis. Is that true? Think about this. Higher the number coming in, the more the impact that each student brings. But the impact on the average will also depend on how many new students are coming in. Think about this. If, if n were 49 kilograms, then I am bringing in 9 more kilograms than the existing average. But I am bringing in only one student. If n were 48, I am bringing in 8 more kilograms, only less than 9, but I am bringing in 2 students. So twice over 8, that will be the impact on the total. So it is not just dependent on that, it depends on this as well. And so, I want to create this quantity, this term called as impact on total. How much does the total change by? In this case, total changes by 9. 9 more kilograms brought in by 1 person. In this case, total changes by 16. 8 more kilograms brought in by 2 people. Here, n would be 47. 7 more kilograms in the average, 7 into 3, 21. And then it would be 6 into 4, 24. 5 into 5, 25 and so on. This is impact on the total. We can sense that higher the impact on total, the more the average would change. But it's not just the impact on total that matters. Now again, we have to look at the how many the, the number of entities that are there. So this is the impact on total. Suppose we had to calculate impact on average. The total has shot up by nine. But over how many people? We originally had forty. Now we have one more student coming in. There will be 41 students in this class or this will be 9 by 41 would be the impact on average. The next case, the 16 is the impact on total. There are two students coming in. The impact will be 16 by 42. 21 students, sorry, impact on total will be 21. The three students, impact on average will be 21 by 43 and so on. Now, all we are left with is to find the highest of these quantities. And nine quantities there. All we need to do is find the highest of that. It is still not easy. We are going to do it. It is simpler than what the original question has outlined. So let's expand on this. We just want to scroll down a little bit. Okay, we are trying to find among the values. We are going to find nine by forty-one, eight into sixteen by forty-two, seven into three twenty-one by forty-three, six into four twenty-four by forty-four. 9 to 5, 25 by 45, all of these numbers. And then 4 into 6, 6 more students bring in 4 extra kilograms. That will be 24 by 46. I'm going to write it down here because the numerator is the same. 7 into 3, 21 by 47, 16 by 48, 9 by 49. We need to find the highest of these quantities. Straight away, we have 24 by 44, 24 by 46 is less than this. We can leave these numbers. The numerator is the same, denominator is higher. We can ignore those. 9 by 41, 16 by 42. The numerator is popping up, but the denominator goes up only by 1. This is definitely smaller. 16 to 21, 42 to 43, definitely smaller. 21 goes up to 24. This goes up by 3. This goes up by only 1. This goes up by 3 on a smaller base. We can leave. This goes up by 1, this goes up by 1, 
This goes up by 1 on a smaller base. So definitely this is larger than this. 24 by 44 is smaller. The highest is 25 by 45. Or the maximum impact on the average could be 25 by 45. Or the new average would be 40 kilograms to the original average plus 25 by 45. 25 by 45 is 5 by 9. 1 by 9 is 0.11. 5 by 9 is 0.55. We're looking at 40 plus 0.55. 40.55 or 40.56. Whatever is the choice that is most appropriate, closest to 40.56, that's your answer. Right? So wonderful question with the thinking of averages. What happens when a, when a new group enters the system? How does the existing average change? What is brought about by the net increase in total over and beyond the power quantity? That means 40 average wouldn't have changed. How much does the average change by? How much more than 40 am I bringing in? How many times am I bringing in? How much is the impact on total? Then move to how much is the impact on average? Then do all this comparison. Very tough question. It's a beautiful question to understand how average moves if new people enter the system, leave the system, are replaced by something 